Okay, welcome to Gracie uh, Schwartzwald. We're going to go over um, defense to a very, uh, um, a very important defense uh, to a very dangerous attack. And that's somebody comes up. If we just do this, part of the Gracie curriculum is very important. He can take me forward. He can hook my leg if I'm pulling him back, step to the side. Those are great, they should be trained all the time. But if I come up and maybe I have a little bit of training or I spend all my time watching UFC, and I come in and I lock the rear naked choke. Now when he tries to dunk me forward, it can be a little bit harder because he's kind of choking himself as he does. If I pull him back and he tries to hook and step, it's very hard. And again, he's only gonna have a couple seconds to make this action before the choke is set. Um, so every submission is a structure. Right? This is a structure. The structures, every structure is really dangerous, but not in all directions and not in all positions at once. Right? That's why if you go for an arm bar and the person turns his hand, well, the arm bar no longer happens because the elbow is no longer in danger. Okay? So you have to you know, manipulate the wrist, make sure the elbow is in the same place. Same thing with a rear naked choke. He's right here, this is dangerous. But if I were here, for instance, and he's trying to rear naked choke me, there's no choke, it's not on my uh, trachea, it's not on my um, blood, um, my veins or my arteries anymore. So what we have to focus on is changing our position within the structure, okay? Um, so first thing, when he grabs me from behind and he locks, of course, as always, I want to try to control the arms and get a little bit of motion. Again, this is not gonna be difference because even with this, it's only gonna last for a second or two. What I need to do then is change my whole body perspective. Okay, so when he comes, he locks the choke, I need to get my body away from him. First, part of the reason I'm walking my hips away is I'm changing the angle of my head. So if he's pushing, pulling, he's pulling more up into my jaw this way than directly into my neck. So first thing I'm gonna do is walk my body just away a little bit. Okay, this is gonna give me space to do the next part. I come here, I'm here. Now, I also have space between us, turn this way, for my arm to swing. I'm gonna swing my arm and my leg is gonna follow. I swing and I get my shoulder all the way through. So now he's trying to choke me, I'm no longer in. So I'm here, I swing my arm, and I need to get my shoulder underneath. As I swing, I pull my leg out. So from this, let's do it from this angle. He's here, he catches me, I don't turn to this one. I come here, he choke, choke, choke. Choke, choke, here. Now it's really important that if you can, go into the arm that's choking. Don't try to go the other way. It's gonna be very difficult because the lock there, the structure there, is, there's a lot of stuff in the way. So I'm here, even if he's pulling me back, pull, pull, pull. I go here. Okay. So once I get here, he may still have the lock, pull me back. As before, I hold the waist and I keep the arm. He's choking me. I have my head in his jaw. I'm not out yet, I'm out of the choke, but we're gonna go ahead and get into a position where we can get him to let go. So from here, I'm trying to do the choke. I've got the weight away, I swing, I step. Now I wanna get him to open his base. As he's still trying to do the choke, here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my head into his, I'm gonna hold his hip. I don't wanna just walk forward because he'll just walk to the side. By driving my upper body into his, my head into his head and pulling, it forces him to take that step. From here, my foot is gonna come in. Now it's very important. My toes face inside. So my feet, my foot is basically the opposite of his foot. So it's not this way, it's this way. It's very important, my knee is facing his face, knee. Not this way. So when he has this, my foot faces this way. My other foot just hooks at the heel and just picks it up. And then I just put it back down. Okay. So let's do it from this angle right here. He's got the rear naked choke. I hold the waist tight, bump his head, foot turns in, I hook, I pull, I settle down. He may still have the choke, but it's not a choke. He may still have the lock, keep the lock. And from here, we can start to work. We now have the early position. We have the leverage to break the hold. So, let me just say that, please. Turn around. 
We have the choke. He's going to get his hips away a little bit. He's going to swing uh, that arm. There you go. I still have the choke. He holds tight. He drives his head into my making a step. Foot comes in. He hooks. He puts it down, puts his hands on the mat, and then he can work out of this frame. And so it's a great example of jujitsu, the idea of changing within the structure, nullifying the structure, getting to a position where we now have the leverage to break the structure apart. And that is our rear naked choke uh, defense to a takedown.